Okay. So if you use Vormesis criteria, right, to calculate what is the torque required, okay, to to prevent failure, right? You will get a higher torque level because the yield you found out is 0 0.577 stress yield. And why I elaborate on pure shear condition, right? We are just focusing on condition number one down here, where you have under pure shear. And under pure shear is on our line CD, along the line CD, right? Along this line CD. Okay. Now, we could also know if you were to use Vormesis criteria. Will uh, recommend a smaller diameter. Okay, when compare to Tresca. So if we were to, to select the size of the shaft, okay, based on the constant load, then Vormesis will recommend a smaller, uh, smaller diameter than Tresca. Okay? So it makes sense, right? Because it's less conservative. Okay? So now I want I'm I'm going to we are going to look at uh, the first our example. When we apply uh, for Mrs. criteria, then later on we're going to calculate and compare to Tresca. Okay, so I want you to, I think I have, uh, oh, I, I have posted this on Avenue to Learn. I wonder why the size did not uh, adjust. I do apologize. Let me sort this out first. Okay, so we are going to do uh, this example. Okay. So this is our example number one. Okay, so the diameter of this shaft is 1.5 inch. It's made of steel with a tensile U strength of 42 KSI. So using the, we are not going to use the maximum shear stress criteria, but we are going to use the maximum distortion energy criteria. Determine what is the maximum uh, torque. Yeah, we're going to determine what the maximum torque. Okay, so let's let's see uh, what information uh, we have, right? So from over here, you will realize that the diameter is equal to 1.5 inch. Okay. And the stress yield is equal to 42 times 10 to power 3 PSI. Okay. And by looking at the structure, if, if we're going to draw a transformation, right, X, Y, and Z, we have a PY acting at minus 60 times 10 to power 3 kilopound. So what we were asked to do, we were asked to determine the torque. Based on, I'm going to do two, but the first one, I'm going to use uh, maximum distortion. energy 
which we classify as from Mises. And then after that B, we're going to do the same thing, right? We're going to use maximum uh, shear stress criteria, which is based on Tresca. Okay. So we're going to apply uh, A. We are going to look at uh, maximum distortion energy. And we know that the formula that we're going to apply a sigma a squared minus by sigma a sigma b plus by sigma b squared they must be less than sigma u squared okay so to get sigma a and b right is to do st structure analysis Over here, this term over there, U, is a material mechanical property. Okay. Now, this is a very simple problem. Okay, I, I highlight again. This is a very simple problem. But you have to get into the business of constructing 3D mole circle because the structure is 3D. Okay. So we have to find uh, sigma A and B, right? Are the principal stresses in 3D, not 2D, okay? In 3D mole circuit. And why is that? Because we have to check okay, that sigma A and sigma B are the maximum. and minimum stresses okay okay so now we can we can start the analysis okay and because it's a shaft right i'm going to straighten it down we can we can we can pick an element okay we can pick an element anywhere okay so we're going to draw an element somewhere around here for example okay so we 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 know if we were to sketch the element out The element look like this. Okay. And we know that the element will have a sigma y. And due to the torsion, right, you're going to have a shear looking like this. Okay. And if we were to draw our transformation, so this is our z, y, and this is our x, right? So this is our shear uh, y, x. Okay. So we have to find our normal stress and our shearing stress. Okay. 
we know that stress x is equal to zero. We know that sigma z is also equal to zero. So, so I'm just going to write in pink. This is our stress x. This is our stress z, but they are both equal to what? Zero. There's no stress acting out on them. So sigma y, normal stress in y direction. Okay, before uh before we calculate sigma y, okay, okay, let's let's calculate sigma y. It's a very easy calculation. Okay, so sigma y is equal to uh minus minus sixty times ten to about three divided by pi and the radius is uh, 1.5 divided by 2 squared. So the normal stress minus 60 power 3 times uh, minus 60 power 3 divided by shift pi divided by 1.5 divided by 2 squared is equal to minus 33.953 times 10 to power 3 PSI. Okay, we know that now. Stress X is equal to zero, there's no stress. Okay, then we can also calculate the shear. Right, so we can uh, calculate the shear is equal to, hold on, the shear. Oh, the shear is what we don't know. We we cannot calculate. I, I I beg your pardon, because we are asked to find t. Okay, so we only can calculate stress y. Okay, so now we are going to sketch our mole circle. Okay, we we are going to sketch our mole circle. So I'm going to do a small mole circle sketch now. Right. I'm going to shift this up. Okay. So this is our normal stress, shearing stress, element rotate clockwise element rotate anti-clockwise okay so we are going to label this as our point y okay z and this is our x okay so we know that we are under a compression So this is our stress y, not not u, but our stress y. Okay, over here, this is our stress x and stress z line, and then we have also our shear. Okay, the magnitude we don't know for now. We're going to find it out. Okay, okay. Let me quickly sketch this out, then we go for a break, okay? So, this will be our point Y. This will be our point X, because the shear, this is our point Z, right? So, when we draw a mole circle, we draw a line across. Let me draw a mole circle. Now mole circle look like this. Okay. So if we were to add in the other two circles, what we are what we want to confirm 
is to confirm that our stress A and stress B are the big at, at the bigger circle. Okay, so that is only possible to drawing 3D mode circle. So the other two circles, one is over here, right? And then the other one is over here. Okay. So by constructing 3D mode circle, we know this point over here is definitely of stress A. This point is of stress B. OK, what I propose is we go for a five minutes break. We come back at 8.07. OK.